Hey guys, Lev back here again. Um, thought we'd do a fun little video. I'm level 99 at the moment, and I really wanna do a video on how to create a, a true sun god, but I need one more monkey knowledge. So what I thought we'd do today is we try and get the achievement for all for one. Win a game with only one monkey tower on the screen at any one time in any hard difficulty game. So I was thinking we'll use Sorta and then probably try this on Cubism just because the like the track is so long. That's my thought process anyway. So hard standard because I reckon we can just play Sorta. This is me. And we just fast forward Sorta to. As long as we can. The only thing that we're going to have to watch out for are lead balloons, but Sorter's ability can pop them. So, we'll see how far we can get. We might have to do this a few times, so bear with me. But the advantage of doing this video is we'll get a bunch of XP towards level 100, gain that monkey knowledge point, and potentially do this, uh, unlock this achievement. I always forget to ask you guys, can you please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below, let me know how I'm going. Even if it's just like an emoji or something, just leave that in the description. Keeps you guys engaged. And lets me know if I'm actually doing a good job or not. Um, we could potentially save up for a crossbow master, 25, 27, 28. 29,000. Save up like 29,000. Oh, you still can't pop leads though. Um, we need leads, lead and camo detection. So let's just run through our towers that can do that. I know that a magic monkey could do that if we went a Wizard Lord Phoenix or a Prince of Darkness, Archmage. All of them can hit with the obviously the right paths, they can hit everything. Um The only one I can think of really is a monkey ace, like a flying fortress or a, um, I don't know, how do you say that? Saar bomber, 30,000, 91,000. Either or, let's just use sword and see how far we can get, see how much money we can save up. Round 21. Because sort of may even work up to round 40, but we're going to have a moment at round 40 and sort of. I don't think we'll have enough damage to take that down. We need level 5. Potentially if she gets her second ability. I don't think we'll get that in time either. Even better. This is good to know that you can get, you know, we're around 27 then. In a perfect world, we could have just been placing like banana farms. You know, get a bunch of banana farms out by now. Here's what I was talking about earlier. 
Let's use our sword of ability. Oh, all right. Lucky I was paying enough attention to get that. That was round 28. Let me write that down. Oop. Round 28, round 30. I reckon if we time that better, we could probably get it on a... Like a better part of the track. Round 28 and round 30. Just in case we... I wonder if our spikes will save us. Oh, I could have popped 75, 52, 6. Okay, we've still got some lives. We'll write that down for next time though, if we don't make it through now. Potentially, next time, if we don't do it first go, which, hey, look, it's probably not going to happen, we could potentially move Sorter to this other square here. Which might give us... This second, when they come down with this second row here, we'd be able to hit that as well. That might be a really big advantage at some point. Not terrible where she is now, but I reckon this orange, orange tile here might be the way to go. All right, let's quickly. Oh, I almost bummed that one up, didn't I? Sword's ability uses it on the first balloon. All right. So round 37. Let's just hit home. This is a little trick for if you know you're going to fail. It'll let you replay the level that you're at. So if we hit play, we've got our six lives back at but these... Uh, Lead balloons will come out, but we know they're coming, so we can use our ability a little bit earlier. Just waiting. This is round 37. Bummer that um, there's two blue balloons are in that spot. All right. All right, can we restart the game? So around 28, round 30, and round 37 is what we're going to have to watch out for. Let's try Sorter in this spot now. Depending on how boring this is, I might get our video editor Matt to speed us through, catch you up to where we were. We can't use her again because her level ups would disappear. Um, so we, we sell, we've got, it'll be the same cash every single time. So we've got 
11,479. Um, I guess you could get two extra gold if that lead balloon didn't get through, but regardless, 11,479. Um, all right, let's have a look at, I mean, a, we could use potentially a buccaneer, but I just don't have enough damage output, I don't think. And our monkey ace has that ability to hit the whole map. Let's just look at the upgrades with 580. With 580 for the tower. We need the spy plane upgrade to hit camo. So we're looking at 215. 215. Oopsies, I can't type. For pineapple. And then 380 for spy plane. Bomber race drops a lot of bombs. I mean, it's it's just cheap getting that way. But the never miss targeting, I think that is just so good. And we'll have pineapples. Then we get the spectre, twenty five thousand. Two and a th yeah, so we can. I reckon we try with the plane. Let's try with the plane. We can definitely afford it. We've got 7,000. So it must be leads on round 37. Yeah. But the only thing we have to pop them strategically placed pineapples. Alright, so that didn't work. Okay. Let's try at round 37. 11,000. We'll try a wizard. Alrighty, Matt. Fast forward us through to round 36, please. Alrighty. Let's, let's get back into the action, guys. Round 36. Now, I'll update our total is slightly off, so we have 11, 965 dollars. Oh, and we can sell sort of 410. So we'll update this. We've got 12, 375. We're going to try to wizard Monday. Monday. <laughs> We're going to try a wizard monkey. Um, I did try and get that other lead balloon, but seriously, I, I tried and one still stuck through. Snuck, stuck through? Snuck through. But we've got our wizard monkey now. Let's see. How far we can get with our wizard monkey. We have to get our camo detection. Phoenix. And then, do we then just save for our wizard lord phoenix? Or are we going to have to... You know, get a different tower. You know, Archmage, potentially. Or we just go Prince of Darkness, because we can get there. And then we can get like wall of fire still. I reckon a wizard monkey might even be the way to go. Like we can use our phoenix. Hit the whole map. So if we get big balloon rushes, we just use our phoenix. That got through our sticking point that we haven't managed to get through so far. And now we've got a burn effect. So as the balloons travel around the map, I have that burn effect applied now. And I know a wizard monkey can get us through that round 40. We're 
that. Awesome. That gets us through round 41. That's not bad. Do we have enough firepower with our wizard? Our wizard monkey. And the phoenix upgrade. Before we save up another forty-eight thousand dollars. We're at forty-four. It's a lot of balloons. Oh, I totally forgot. It's around forty-five. Hmm, what are we gonna do about that? I guess we have to sell. Wizard Monkey, we've got 14,000. I don't want to restart, so let's just try and save the game. I totally forgot about Purple Balloons. So round 45 is purple. Gonna have to do it with a monkey ace. Because the monkey ace can't beat round 40, it just doesn't have enough damage output. We were so close to getting that this time. Do we have enough pops? Or do we then have or do we have to sell this tower a few times? So this isn't going to work. Back into it. 12, 3, 7, 5. Now I had a big brain thought. If we got a buccaneer. And the reason I want to get a buccaneer is the monkey part. So we can hook the... We can just hook the round 40... Um, Moab that comes down and he's also got the same flame effect as the wizard monkey so let's see how far we can get with the buccaneer this time I still think that flying fortress is going to be the way to go potentially I don't think they put this challenge in here because for it to be easy obviously Around 40 now. We'll just hook the balloon next round. We did lose a little bit of gold. Wonder if we can beat it without using the hook. Nice. We'll use a couple lives there, that's fine. Twenty-two thousand cheap upgrade for our fifth tier. That's only twelve thousand off, and we might have a problem at round forty-five with those purples. Now I don't think it's the most optimal tower because his buccaneers can shoot off both sides. And we don't have any, any way to do that at the moment. But at round 45, these are the purple balloons that got us stuck last time. So our explosions can hit them. This is going good. It's a bummer that the bombs sometimes miss, but... I mean, I wonder if we can get to that 22,000. Unlock our pirate lord. Oh, they're so spaced out. Oh, get it. 
Oh. Lose a couple lives, that's okay. so bad when you're shooting over to the right side of the screen because then he gets those double cannons off. Not going to go too well when there's regen purples because they are, um, I can't remember what they're called, but our hot shots, they don't hit purple balloons. So that's well, here we go. We're going to test it right now, aren't we? Three thousand gold off our fifth tier, though. If we can just survive, then we get the three hooks. So we can pull in three Moabs. Look at that damage. We're doing all right. We're only a thousand gold off. More ceramics though. As long as we can set them alight. Get our other ceramic alight. There we go. Greatly increase attack speed. Can shoot three grappling hooks. Extra cash from each mob takedown. Probably don't notice the fire rate too much when we've got it on normal speed. This is the furthest we've got though, around 49. And we can grappling hook this. I don't think we're going to need to though. Around 50 now. We know we don't have to grab the hook this because the last one we defeated. How much do we get? We get 21,000, we get 28,000. Around 52. Let's write that down. We've got 20, 28k. Round 52. The reason I'm thinking about that is we're 26k. Let me just calculate it. So we're 25, 9, 20 plus 2375 plus 3, oopsie, 325 plus. 540. So that's 29, 160. Is that 595. 595. So a total we need 29755. 29755 for a spectre so we can get that we can get that around 53 around 53 if needed all right that's good I want to test the limits of this Buccaneer. I don't see any reason to get rid of the Buccaneer. 
if we don't have to. I know it is maxed out already. But we also don't know if the spectre will actually even work in this round yet. And we can pull in red Moabs. With our three hooks, we can hit three at least on the screen at the same time. Round 58. Doing well. More and more mobs coming out now. Camo leads aren't a problem. Here we are, round 60. Eat him up. Use that hooks again. Bring all them in. Right, slow this down. We're at 62. 27,000. Bring them in just in case. So effectively, we've got 40. 48k which is nowhere near enough to upgrade um, where are we? flying fortress Just there. And then snuck through. So we round 63. So let's let's sell. Let's see if round 63 works. With our spectre. Play on normal speed, we don't want to fail. Because we're 71,000 gold off at this, at this point from getting our flying fortress. Which means we might have to sell, go back, go back to our pirate lord at some point. But we know at 63 that we, the pirate lord definitely doesn't work. get lucky so that's where the parable would come in really handy so 65 we made it through what happens when a reinforced red comes out Handle is just regular balloons, fine. The closer they're bunched up, the better our bombs do. We're at 66. So this is the problem. These reinforced ones. These ones are more grouped than last time. Which makes our plane a little bit more effective. Okay, around 67.
Not a right for all that's there. Let's come up. Oh, when it's just regular balloons, the spectre is amazing. Around 70. Let's, let's see if we can get rid of around 71. I should add that I do have the monkey knowledge upgraded that uh, places pineapples on linear tracks. Um, I know that they're, to be honest, pretty useless if you ask me, but if you don't have that monkey knowledge upgraded, they just place them anywhere and it's actually almost a complete waste of an upgrade. I don't think we ever have enough gold around 73 to... I'm not sure we're gonna earn 60,000. Around 73 we can always switch to a pirate lord, switch back to a spectre, because effectively at the moment we have 51k. We have 51k at round... 73. So depending where purple balloons sit, I mean, we get like a, we get a phoenix out for the last couple rounds. his focus off those Moabs. It's an awesome back for a Spectre though, just the way the, the track moves and the way the Spectre flies. You always get to hit something, even if it's not particularly what you're aiming for. Okay, it's round 74. Now we're at 61k, effective money, 61k. He's laying some blocks on. Just remove that so you guys can see. Perfect pineapple. Alright, we actually did crack through. This blimp was blocking. Now this blimp's blocking. It's not, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's a perfect map for a spectre. Okay, we got through those. So we're going to get through round 75. We're going to get through it. Alrighty. Regen ceramics. Not a problem, round 77. Effective cash is 65k, 65k at 77. We 
get into these red ones as soon as possible. Or we get to hit multiple. Here, mole apps, I should say. We are lucky there to crack that red open. Terrible spot for that Moab. When they're grouped like this, the bombs hit all of them. See, makes it much easier. Alrighty, round 78. It's a big balloon round from memory which Spectre doesn't seem to have trouble with. Unless they're a lot of ceramics. Oof. This is really going to test it out. Fire through, Spectre. Fire through. Just a lot of balloons in this round. A lot of balloons. Holy moly. 79 now. Okay. Round 79. I don't think we're going to make it with these, these reinforced here. If we can get through round 79. Then we can do the maths, but I reckon we can do round 80 with Wizard Lord Phoenix. Potentially. Let's see if we can get through these. Oh gosh. They group together though. Wow, this tower's good. Okay. So round 80. I'll restart the map if we see that we're not going to make it, but... See if we can just get through this round monkey ace. This ta this... ZOMG moves pretty slow. And they're all going to spawn bunched up. So providing we can crack it relatively soon, get those reds out. Come on. Come on, round 80. Alright. I think we can get it from here, that's fine. And just like that. Alright, let's see if we get the achievement. Here it is. <laughs> all for one, one for all. Win a game with only one monkey tower on the screen at any time in any hard difficulty game. There's our monkey knowledge. We can jump in here now. And we can upgrade. There can only be one. I will show you guys what it, uh, what this upgrade does. I've been super excited to unlock this one. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.